The future of our shoreline is a future that involves more flooding. The United States is expected to experience as much sea level rise in 30 years as we saw over the span of the entire last century. NOAA coming out with new sea level rise projections as the impact of our warming world becomes more clear. Over the next sort of 30 years or so, we are really locked into the amount of sea level that we might experience. Even the report's most conservative estimate calls for an additional 8 to 10 inches of sea level rise on the Connecticut shoreline in the next 30 years. The worst case scenario? more than a foot. Those small changes when you're sort of right at that threshold of danger, those matter a lot. It's something researchers have been warning. A 2020 report from the Yale Center on Climate Change and Health showing the number of days with high tide flooding each year is increasing in New London and Bridgeport. There are some pockets along the coast where it's regularly flooding roads. That regular nuisance flooding will happen more often, even if it's a sunny, calm day. All it takes is a high astronomical tide. And then it starts to raise the question of like how, how much can a town invest of their limited tax dollars into repairing roads that um, will continue to have this issue. The report suggesting moderate flooding during storms will occur 10 times as often as it does now. The more we do now to sort of mitigate the less amount of sea level rise we will face uh, in the future. But for coastal cities and towns, the message is clear. Sea level rise will continue, and there is much work to be done to shore up our shoreline. If you'd like to see which parts of the shore are most susceptible to coastal flooding, there's an interactive mapping tool that's available on our website and mobile app. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61 News.